In the previous video, I looked at showing how we could draw a, an inequality as a number line. So I start, ended with this example. 3 is less than x is less than or equal to 8. And what I showed you was that if the number line is like so, and it's a hollow dot on the 3, a solid dot on the 8, there's my inequality represented on a number line. If I'm asked the question, write down the integers that are satisfied by that inequality, remember that the word integers means whole numbers. The whole numbers that x can take that is within this range. Now, it can't take 3 because it's not allowed by the inequality. It's a hollow dot. It can take 4 because that's inside. It can take 5. It can take 6. It can take 7. And it can take 8 because that is included. But it can't take 9 because that's outside the region. Likewise, it couldn't take 2 or any number less. Okay, so these are the only integers that are satisfied by that inequality. Let's look at one more example of that. Or two more examples, I think. Let's say I've got uh, that. Okay, so 5 is less than or equal to x is less than 7. So first of all, draw a number line, 5, 6, 7, solid dot on the 5, hollow dot on the 7, draw a line, so that x can take the integers that are represented there, so 5 is allowed, because that's got a solid dot, 6 is allowed, because it's in the region, but 7 is not allowed, okay, 7 is not an integer satisfied by that inequality. One more example. It may well be that the question looks something like this. Now, this looks more difficult. Write down the integers satisfied by that. Well, this 2x is making it difficult. But, you can work with inequalities like we did with equations. So you could divide all three numbers by two and reduce it to a problem that we understand. So we know how to deal with that. So if I just divide all of these values by the number in front of the x, then I get down to an inequality that I can work with. So between one and three, hollow dot on the 1, solid dot on the 3, and the values between, x must be equal to either 2 or 3, and not 1. And that makes sense, because when x is 1, I get 2 lots 1, which is 2, that's not included. When x is 2, I get 2 lots 2, which is 4, which is between 2 and 6. And when x is 3, I get 2 lots of 3, which is 6, which is allowed, because that's the end number of the inequality. And that's how we deal with double inequalities.